Fellas, today we are looking at the exotic auto rifle, Sweet Business. Now, Sweet Business got a good buff inside of update 2.6.0.1. Jesus Christ, too many digits. But essentially, we got a magazine buff from 100 to 150, an increase in PVE damage by 15%. High caliber rounds have now been replaced by armor piercing rounds, which I don't really know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. But considering that sweet business already like unloads on people, it probably already met our max flinch factor to begin with. So armor piercing rounds just allows it to hit multiple enemies. Now it also got a damage change. Previously it was hitting 21.14 per crit and 13.21 per body. And it's now hitting 21.2 per crit and 15 per body. Now in game, it doesn't actually show those damage values. Instead, it shows 22 per crit and 16 per body, which is kind of confusing. Like I understand that there may be some rounding, but it, it, it's rounding the wrong way. So I'm gonna give you TTK values on both of those because we like to go the extra mile, but the weapon also no longer requires you to be firing when you pick up ammo to have it automatically reload, which is pretty nice, especially if you're just like running and gunning. Now for my players that have never used Sweet Business, or maybe you're new to Destiny, or maybe your hands are too small and you play a hunter class, or you're a dress wearing warlock, intrinsically, Sweet Business comes with the perk Payday, which grants a larger magazine, but the big benefit from this is the increase in accuracy when firing from the hip. Now you're actually gonna see me a bunch shooting from the hip, and at any moment when a shotgun rusher is rushing you, or a recluse user is stupid enough to challenge you, feel free to just shoot from the hip because I know that aim down sight speed on this thing is hella slow. Now our trait here is business time, which states that sustained fire boosts the range and rate of fire on sweet business. Now the default rate of fire on sweet business is like 360 rounds per minute. Nothing impressive, and the time to kill values will reflect that, but as you begin to shoot the weapon, realistically, after shooting 12 shots, Sweet Business here ramps up to 900 rounds per minute. Now that's fast, okay? That's, that's doctrine of passing fast. And with these new damage values inside of something like PvP and in PvE, you can understand why we're pretty much melting everything in front of us. Now, TTK values, I'm going to give you two sets of values here. Just know it means a lot of death, okay? That's all it means. Sweet business is wrecking people. At 21.2 per crit and 15 per body. Based on the patch notes given to us by Bungie, you're looking at a pretty poor time to kill of 1.33 seconds, optimal, and two seconds in its base form. But again, the correct way to use this weapon is you really wanna be pre-firing as much as you possibly can to get to that 900 rounds per minute as that substantially drops our TTK value here to a whopping 0.53 seconds optimal and 0.8 seconds body shot. Now that is based on the patch note numbers from what we see here in game. And, and I gotta go with what we see here in front of us, unless it's a visual bug, or maybe Bungie just didn't update the patch notes correctly, at 22 per crit and 16 per body. Our optimal time to kills have not changed, as it's still gonna require nine shots to get a kill, but notice our body shot TTK values go from 1.83 seconds at 360 to 0.73 seconds at 900. Look, I'm not breaking the bank here in this gameplay in terms of accuracy. There's a lot of body shot action happening, but it's still effective. It's killing people in somewhere between 0.73 seconds and 0.8, which is pretty fast. I think the only other weapons that can beat that in terms of body shot TTK value is something like Recluse, which is broken. Sweet Business is not broken, Bungie. Now with this new fresh time to kill value on Sweet Business, is this an exotic that is about to become meta? I wish it was, okay? I'm gonna be honest with you. Some people would hate it. If I saw nothing but Sweet Business, lobby after lobby, Titans everywhere with the rally barricades, just ripping it up, nothing would make me more proud. But unfortunately, there is a play style associated with Sweet Business that most will never learn, as it requires a little bit of timing as well as some positioning and finding ways to constantly get yourselves in duels against fools that dare to challenge sweet business head to head. It's a gun that can't be beat. It really can't. But it's a play style that requires a lot of baiting and a lot of pre-firing. So the downside is you're constantly giving your position away, right? Like you can hear sweet business from across the map. But like we mentioned before, it's like a mating call. You're daring every mountaintop and recluse user to come at you, bro. But that is sweet business, guys. It's deadlier than ever. And I've seen so many buffs to this weapon. Just about every six months we see a buff. And from where this weapon started to where it is now, it's crazy. And it's phenomenal for PvE. I know a lot of people don't want to use it because it takes up that exotic slot, 
but my god does it melt through enemies, especially with these sandbox changes and the ability to constantly pick up ammo. And if you happen to be pairing it with Actium War Rig, yeah, you never have to stop and reload. You just constantly run and gun. So fellas, try out Sweet Business. Yes, it has been greatly improved. It is absolutely shredding. No, it won't be a top tier weapon in something like Elimination and Competitive, but it could definitely be a great weapon to use in something like 6v6. And considering how many recluses I have seen this past week since skill-based matchmaking has been turned on, my god, I would love it if people just experimented just a tad bit more. This weapon's got a lot of character, fellas, so give it a try. Fellas and ladies, thank you all for coming and watching, and as always, slap that like button like your mama told you right.